Maybe we can go back home. Oh, he's about to bring a taco out of his backpack. Haven't yet. Not really. Okay. So we've been talking about characteristics of bonds. Okay. Talk about several different characteristics. Yeah. That was last week. No. Yeah, last week. Yeah. yeah. Thursday. Thursday. Oh, you plugged it on a three hour delay? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I thought we were going to have it, so I went. I didn't know. And then, and then he sprung it out. You did a quiz on a three hour delay? What kind of guy does You're that? evil, Mr. Alt. I said <laughs> that it would be on this day, and that if we missed, it would be on the next day. Yeah, but. Uh, that's not a day. That's a half day. You didn't say the next day or half day. So I went to school assuming, oh my God, this is going to be such an easy day. No work to do. I'm going to go to the first period. It's going to be fun. And then you sprung out this evil, like, ancient text to me. And I didn't know what I was doing, Mr. Hall. How did you do on this? Go wake up call for you. I think I got five right, maybe. <laughs> All right, so characteristics. We're looking at it between an ionic and covalent bonds. We had went through some, so just to reiterate, to re hit these up, okay? So, we have a melting point, boiling point. These are very similar. The way you can relate these two is something has to melt to be a liquid before it's going to boil. I've never seen a solid start boiling. If you ever do, record it. I would love to see that. So, ionic have high melting and boiling points, while covalent have low melting and boiling points. <coughs> look at the oh. This one's been through some wear and tear. All right, I'm filling up from the workout yesterday. All right, so it's melting boiling point. Uh, what I give you after that? I don't want to go opposite. Clam. What? Clam. Clam. Yeah. Nobody would do Flames, baby, flames. <laughs> Technically, yes, everything will burn. Ionic bonds, though, not really. They're not going to burn. When we're talking something flammable, we're talking like gasoline, like you throw a match on it. You know what makes me mad? What? I was on TikTok, I think it was like yesterday. And I don't know, some like burning and melting uh, it reminded me of this. I, I saw a picture, it was AI generated, of the Eiffel Tower on fire. I also saw that. And it had like 14 million likes, and the comments were like, no, I was going to go there. Like, no, the Eiffel Tower didn't actually set on fire. Use your head. <laughs> I, I, it was actually it was, it was really good AI. I wanted to go there. Bears just for that. Did you, did you not? The AI was actually pretty I mean, it looked good, but like it's obviously, obviously the Eiffel Tower is not going to set on fire. It's not going to set on fire, but like, <laughs> AI. Is, I could use this. I love this thing. Okay. So, cobalt bonds are very flammable. Okay? They will burn. Then we'll go to odor, right? Yeah. Alright, so odor's the new one. That's where I left you off. So, odor. First, we're going to talk about ionic bonds. Ionic bonds are your favorites. We don't have an odor. <laughs> wow. I'm going to respond to that. But then, there are the covalent bonds. Oh. Oh, dog, hot dog, hot dog, boys. I tell you what, these covalent bonds. I'm telling you, they got a stench that can raise the dead. 
There is a group of organic compounds out there, and this is a very educational moment for you. Life lesson for those of you who go into a, do chemistry in college. If you see anybody's researching something called a thiol, probably don't want to be involved in it. Some thiols are very, very stinky. They are organic compounds that involve sulfur. How stinky are they? There was actually a recorded occurrence where someone had one of these. I think it was like a thiol, a thiol but they dropped it by mistake. Inside the lab, the windows were open. The wind carried the smell half a mile down the road to a town to where the people in the town smelled it and they upchucked. Yeah, that's how powerful they are. Sulfur smells really bad on its own, but when it, but when it gets not like bomb, it just stops smelling. <laughs> oh, it's it's the smell. Okay, so like rotten eggs. Whenever you smell rotten eggs, what it actually is is sulfur within the eggs. If you need me to, we can take some eggs, break them up, let them go rot. And they oh, good. <laughs> yeah, we, we can have an activity. Stick them oh, yeah. in the vents in the schools. No, no, Everyone will be like, hey, here you go. Just release the methane gas. Oh my goodness. Sam. All right, then another characteristic. What's your problem? You want to class? So another characteristic we look at is solubility. Uh, yes, but this is like a lot cooler. So this is all solubility is all about dissolving water. So whenever we check solubility. We'll literally take the item and we'll put it in water. So ionic bonds, those guys, absolutely. I'm just gonna say yes. It's like a new here. Ionic bonds will dissolve. We're going to get into that as to why. Okay? So the ionic bonds will dissolve, yes. But when it comes to solubility of covalent bonds, nah. They don't. Now, I know what you're going to say to me. Yes, there are some that will break this characteristic. That's why we use all the characteristics. Then the one that's really cool that I think is pretty sweet, and I actually ordered some new ones for you guys to test this year. Conductivity. Yes. It's always my favorite time whenever I get to this and I get to freak everybody's brains. Out at Barnes. will absolutely transfer and use electricity. They will conduct electricity. The key to this is that it has to be dissolved. Uh, well, let's just say, let's use big chemistry terms here. In solution, So whenever we're going to check this, we have to actually put it in water. So it's in, in a solution in water. Oh, oh. sorry, I keep popping. Grabbing. So conductivity, ionic bonds, yes. Covalent bonds. No. I'm going to mess with you. You're going to be upset with me. You 
you've been lied to your entire life. Already upset. What? Okay. Does water conduct electricity? Oh, yeah, it does. It's supposed to, right? Kind of. The stuff in the water. Mr. Paul, don't lie to me. No! Water is a covalent bond. It, it does, right? Don't lie to me, Mr. Hall. It, it's got to be the exception. And they will not connect with you. You're lying. Time. You're a filthy liar. Mr. Hall, you ever played Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a reason the water type is weak to the electric type. And Pokemon won't lie to me. Pokemon would not lie to me. Wait, you need it's true. You need to explain Pokemon yourself. Right. I'm going to. Water will not conduct electricity. The ions inside the water will conduct electricity. Good over here. So we have 100% pure water, nothing else. It yeah. won't conduct electricity. It will not conduct. Isn't that the same thing? Like people that make computers, they put like the, the, I think it's distilled water in them and they can just submerge the entire computer and it won't do anything. Have you seen those fish tank computers? Yeah. Those are so cool. I want a fish tank computer. It's so cool. You can't put fish in it, obviously. Then what's the point? Yeah. Fry the computer and kill the fish. But it'll keep it cool. It's pretty cool. Anyway, good. Yeah. You can speak that, Mr. Roll. Thank you. So, it's the islands within the water. So, okay, am I looking at you and telling you that Hollywood's got it wrong, that if you would drop an electrical appliance in a bathtub, people are not going to get shocked? No. They're absolutely going to get shocked. Because guess what's inside the person? Let's test it. We'll go check it. They're full of ions, which means they'll conduct the electricity. But as for water, water's like, eh. Okay. Okay. Why me, huh? Why do I need to be the test subject? <laughs> there don't need to be a test subject. You're, You're not testing that. Okay. All right. So, here's the thing I got. I want you to get. These are the characteristics. You will actually use these and check these on our next lab. So we're going to test what? The toaster? Oh. <laughs> You're not checking that. <laughs> How are we going to know? The characteristics. Oh, okay. So here's what will happen, okay? Friday, because tomorrow you're going to be coming in, you're going to be going to your blah, blah. I actually do not have a homeroom, so I'll probably actually clean the lab. So then what will happen, I have lab clean, I'll get everything set up. You will come in, and to uh, on Friday, you're going to do a lab. I'm identifying the types of bonds in unknown substances. There will be approximately five or six, somewhere around there, substances that will be left on the counter back there. Let's go ahead and address it and get all the jokes out of the way. It's probably going to be a bunch of white substances. Some of them are going to look whatever to you. Some of them are it's also going to... It's not coming anymore. <laughs> Some of them are going to want you to make you want to crack a joke. Please don't. I hate the show. Mason would have stayed mellow and kept the class yeah. If anybody made a joke, he would have, had, he would have let them have it. Yeah. 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 He, he wouldn't say that. Did you mess with Friday? What? Yeah. Is the play going to mess with Friday? Yeah, that's what like, um, uh, no, yeah, I think it's at 9. Yeah. <laughs> so. hey, I'm pretty sure. sure. So Friday, plan for lab. I'll okay. be gone. With the work. Wait, you said no Friday? Yeah. You should do it Thursday. I have my wisdom teeth Friday. Okay. You should not Thursday is Friday. tomorrow. Tomorrow oh. you're taking a PSA. Tomorrow is Thursday. Oh my <laughs> God. Mr. All, you should do it <laughs> Monday. <laughs> like Monday. Right and early. <laughs> well, no, I don't care about Zoe. Friday, Mr. All. What about Dale? You've been stuck at home. I don't care about Dale. Dale. What the hell? So oh, no, I don't care about Dale. Dale. Sorry, Zoe. Well, last day of school, we had. You just said you don't care about Dale. Now you do. You're supposed to about Dale. Okay, fine. What? Do y'all want? Do y'all prefer to do Monday? Right now. Yes. I'll be Take here. I promise. My wisdom I want to do it Friday. I'll be here, Mr. All. <laughs> I'll come it. just for the wisdom. For I mean, you're not going to be here, here Friday. <laughs> well, you can never know. I might oh, die tonight, Mr. All. Yeah, he might. He just might. I'm really worried about you, Tanner. 
Oh, that is unrelated to the toaster. Uh. Completely separate. <laughs> I'm just saying in the grand scheme of things, you never know when you're going to die. toaster in his bathtub and not make it the next day. We don't know. <laughs> you never know, Mr. Hall. Life so unpredictable. Listen, Dan, all jokes aside, tell me your joke. Are you oh, I'm not, I'm not going to put a toaster with that, I swear. Look at sir. Unless. So, these are the characteristics we're going to look at. I'll see to it, Tanner. I'll make sure there's a toaster in your mouth. One way or another. Make sure you have these down. Make sure you know them. I got a bath bomb for my birthday. No, Christmas. Oh, yeah. Tanner was talking about Plan C. Yeah. And I thought he was really good because he always complained about how many people are so bad on this team. And we played. The and first I was, game, I, I was like, awful. I was like 10 and 4, and he was like an 0 and 6. The next two games, I did good. It's like, like, yeah, you did good. That's yeah. like when I play with him. I, I do awful compared to him. I did. I did. <laughs> one game, I, I went like 12 and like. Three, we twelve and four. We lost. Bro, I can't play. I can't play ranked anymore. I All right, anyway. And I just as soon as I come in, like they had to help me immediately. So these are the characteristics you'll be looking at. Now comes the big question. Because now we're going to start looking at there are differences in the bonds, but we want to look at saying what actually happens when a bond forms. See, my that they Sharing or receiving the loss of electrons? Yeah. I just got here. They kind of stick together just a little like bit. It's cool it's like they become besties forever. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you set that alarm set to your path? Yes. What happens with bomb forms? Well, you've got to fix that, Mr. Sure Hall. What? you got to change that. That's not going to work for me. <laughs> Wow. Look at that. <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> well, who do you think you are? <laughs> Two lines. That also you could have gone there on the <laughs> Okay. Y'all talk me into it. <laughs> I mean, I guess he's going to make it work. I will escape that. No, he's going to draw like form on the bottom right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, well, you know what? That's, that's, better, that's better. better. I'll accept that. I was thinking like the bottom of the board. You might not. Alright, guys, everyone make fun of his grin right now. <laughs> uh, electron? What happens when bonds form? You two laying the question. We don't know. Nobody uh, knows? The sharing, uh, yeah. gaining, or loss of electrons. I feel like if it was that, you wouldn't have asked the question. What do you, what do you want? What, they what they come together. They kind of stick Slumber. together, you know. Kind of stick stuff. Yeah. It's, it's like, you know, when no. they this gain or lose, ions form, so that the opposite charges attract them to each other. Here's, here's what takes place. Okay. Please. So we have two atoms that start apart. So first, Two atoms start apart. Then one looks and goes, man, I really want a full octet. You know what would really help with this? Ooh. Is it on? Like, and Adam sets the move. It's embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> two. <laughs> so then what happens? The tension's really high. In other words, here's step one. We have high potential energy. <laughs> <laughs> then after they got a little song playing, you know, they're on opposite ends of the dance floor. The atoms start moving closer. As the two atoms are heading towards one another. Their eyes locked. <laughs> it was love at first sight. 
And this lowers the potential energy. Big comes step three. After they've gotten closer together, they've locked in. The atoms get close enough to show what love, I mean, to share <laughs> electrons. To, yeah, oh. <laughs> The atoms get close enough. Once they get close enough, then what happens is, at this point, to share, give, or receive. Well, I would say take. That's beautiful. Those characteristics have to do with electrons? No, nah, characteristics have to deal with how strong they are. Uh, I mean, but the whole thing depends on the bonds sharing electrons. Covalent bonds. Well, sharing is in some, sometimes they share, sometimes they take and give. But take and give is not sharing. If you came to class with a cherry coke, and I take your cherry coke. Are we sharing the cherry coke? Right. So no, you just lost a cherry coke. So some, something being done to the bonds, not something being done to the electrons. Is that? I'm just trying to make the jump from you know, bonds. To make, is it just? Is it just one of those things where it just works? There's no explanation. I'm, I'm confused. Like, how do the bonds? affect the characteristics other than ionic is high. Why? It's how they connect together. Is that for all of them? For our come out. So we'll get into it, like we're getting into it. But uh, ionic is the strongest. Covalent comes in second. A polar covalent stronger than a nonpolar covalent. And then, uh, well, that's pretty much it. Okay, then you get the intermolecular forces. The reason melting points are a great indicator for how strong something is. Because what melting points are is how much energy do I have to put into it. Ionic bonds are high because I have to put tons of energy into it. Covalent's low because I don't need a lot of energy into it. What's happening here? is when you see the high potential energy, and then it lowers the potential energy, and then when they get close enough to share, give, or take the electrons, this is when they reach the lowest potential energy. So it's all about and I know I'm like cracking a joke, like they're on opposite ends of the dance floor and everything. But the atoms are apart and they have to get close enough. When they get close enough, that's when, boom, then they can give up an electron, they can take an electron, they can share electrons. They have to get close enough. Why are they having to get close enough for this to take place? Where's my red mark? My red marker. We'll have to be in blue today. Sure. <coughs> so why do they have to get close?
the key to this, and if we weren't on like a big long break, I would stop, pause, let you guys discuss and come up with what you think. But the whole key to this is why they have to get so close is so the protons <laughs> and the opposite atoms can attract the other atoms electron. Tell Mary I played like a love song in first period now. I, I tell you what, you're going to feel like this is like not chemistry, but like the chemistry between like, you know, people. Because we're going to talk about relationships in here. So this is the key, is the protons and the opposite atoms attracting to the other ones, bringing them in together. This is what makes the bond form. Now, I can take this a little bit deeper, but I'm not going to like write it down. What actually happens here is we can actually push them closer together. And if we push them closer together, the, the energy would increase. If we pull them farther apart, it would increase. There's a sweet spot. And that's where the bond forms, and they're just there. Okay, that's what you're going to see. Any questions? You'll never hear that song the same again. Y'all know what that song is? Yeah. Okay, I was just, I picked that one because I thought I'd like it. You know, we're not that Mr. Hall. I didn't know if like, it or not, I mean, it's a good song. <coughs> oh my god. So no questions. Don't look at me like that. No questions. But I do, I, I do have an objection. Okay. Conductivity, I'm still upset about that. Why? Because water, it's, Mr. Hall, are you denying uh, the Pokemon science? There were, there were, no, the Pokemon is the Pokemon that like, has ions inside of it, hence why it will conduct the electricity. But if it was just pure water, then no. Well, what about... So don't miss, because they'll probably come to well, you I, I first period and say, Tanner Atkins, let's if go. I can, uh, if I can reschedule it, I'll, I will, but I don't know if I can. They might, they're going to get mad at me. This is the second time this month I've rescheduled. I've scheduled the appointment I've had this month three times. Oh, yeah, what well, class are you leaving for? You. All right. So that's what happens when bonds form. For now, we want to talk about the strength of bonds. Strong bonds. The strength lies within. Talk about strong bonds. There's one is stronger than you are the others. He is the strongest of strong. Hans and Franz looks up to him. Hans and Franz? You know who Hans and Franz is? Hans and Franz. Hans and Franz, what are you here to pump you up? Okay, never mind. Maybe I am too young. <laughs> Did you just call me old? No. <laughs> let's not call me old. My, my sister is the same age as you, I think. So you're calling your sister old? No. Wow. 
How old's your sister? 32? Get out. I'm sorry, Is that, was I wrong? Yes. Are you 31? I know you went to high school with her, and that's all I know, okay? So I'm, I'm just a guessing around the same age. We are around the same age. Okay. Was I two? Was I? You're your own. It's okay. 30. I love it. I love it. Sure, how about 29? I love how it keeps getting farther and farther away. We're a year off. Oh, 30, subtract 33. One, subtract one, subtract one, subtract one. I'll be, I'm, I'm going to keep doing it until I get it, Mr. Hall. What was it, 20 years? <laughs> 10, maybe. Strongest bond. It's Island. What did I say? The Nothing. reason Island Bond is the strongest. Sharing is caring. They don't share. They That's give true. Take. That's true. I can't believe it. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I'd love to look at you and say it's like Robin Hood. They take from the rich and give to the poor. But it's really it. not. They just take from whoever and you know what? keep it. <laughs> I've changed my stance. I'm not for sharing anymore. I'm for, I'm for, uh, for taking what You're you need. For stealing? You know, for so, Alec Bond. One atom loses electrons. Electron or electrons. And one gains. So we say this countless times. We say it time and 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 time again. We keep saying this. What does this actually mean whenever we're saying this? So what happens is our atoms, one atom, becomes cation. Other atom. And anion. This is where the strength comes in from the bond. Because what happens is they give and they take those electrons. So then one will form the cation. So let's take. Don't mix salt. I pick up here later. Okay. The bonds, characteristics, a little bit, but they're really the usefulness behind it. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start working through these, and we're going to work through the ones, and this is where everything becomes real world. Yeah. The first one I want to hit up are usefulness that we have within uh, the strongest bond. So the strongest bond we have is is friendship as well. <laughs> <laughs> what is the bond of the friends who made along the way? Exactly. You're gonna write so much. I think <laughs> what is this? Make a snowflake up in here? What a negative Nancy we got. I actually know how to make <laughs> snowflakes, Mr. Hall. I went back in elementary school. I can also make you a boat. Yeah, that's definitely me, right? You know how to yeah. make I am positive. Mm -hmm. My problem is, I hate the. <laughs> we love the kids in the poverty now. Ow! It's like the kids, like, oh my gosh, like I'm just so stressed out with Mr. Hall's class. Okay, I tell you what, what, when do you have him? Well, I got him fifth period. It's so, okay, we're gonna call you out fifth period and talk with you and give you time to vent and deal with all your anxiety and emotions. Mr. Hall, I had you fifth period. Is this about me? No. <laughs> Mr. Hall, I'm I just fifth period because it's my planning, so nobody can think that. I'm gonna tell everyone the reason. But then we call, you call that kid down and you start talking to him, and they're like, 
I'm just so behind, there's just so much work, blah, blah, blah. What class is that kid out of? Like, the one that they're behind in. So they're going to feel good once they leave you, but as soon as they come back and they figure out, we did stuff while they were gone. We don't we have still have a right seminar? Back. Isn't that like what it's... It'd be the perfect time to do it. I want to tell everybody, you're the reason why I try to do online school, Mr. Hall. Yeah. We already spread the rumor. That's okay. I already started saying, but at this point, after Mason said he was going, I said, I'm going to call Pip Foster and tell him I want to cut. Because <laughs> <laughs> as many kids as left uh, had me, coincidence, I think not. That's in the chapter. It's wrong. <laughs> Sucks. Now I'm now I'm back to six. I was to seven. Nope. 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 I had another one win. So I am to seven. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So the strongest bond is I on it. Okay. Now the reason behind the straight behind the <coughs> iron bond is because of the straight up opposite charges. So whenever you look at it, remember sodium with its lonely electron. Chlorine with its seven electrons. <coughs> Sodium busts out its boot box. Starts playing for it. I want to know what love is. Chevy Lester, please go to your mom's room. Chevy Lester, please go to your mom's room. She laughed at the end of that. That's funny. I did hear a little bee running in the hallway. <laughs> yeah, there's been, I think it's a child running up and down the halls, and I hear little feet pitter patter. Oh, there children all over this school. Who is, are they? Who's the baby? My siblings. The babies have been released. Then what happens? <laughs> Sodium gives up its one valence electron. It's chlorine. Yeah. And once that happens, <laughs> sodium has now lost an electron, which means it now has one more proton that does electrons. So sodium becomes a cation. Which well, you should be more like a proton. Yeah, don't be such a electron. Jimmy neutron and be a Jimmy proton. Exactly. Chlorine gained an electron, so it gained a negative charge, so it forms an anion. So now, what? what do opposites do? <laughs> they attract. They attract. What was it? Like <laughs> magnets. Yes. Like batteries. <laughs> no. Batteries don't attract. Yeah. Tanner, Xbox like controller. Your your I'm sorry. Sorry. Make me something to do. Maybe Whoa. you need to pull your hood back off. I think you need some oxygen. No, I'm fine. This <laughs> 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 Oh, no. I'm sorry, jeez. I didn't know it was so important. <laughs> it's going to turn emo. Get back to it. I know. Why do you hear me a male? <laughs> Make me a gift. Screw. Alright. <laughs> Not only do they attract, they attract That's like never before. Screw bucket, buddy. You uh, don't want to do that. Because whenever they attract here, they form a very special bond. They form a very special substance. Uh, it'll never be structures a structure as me and Mason's bond. So whenever they form right. this structure, bonds. it looks like this. I'll go ahead and tell you what this is. It's called a crystalline lattice. Ooh, that's sick. sick. I think it's two T's. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> So when a crystalline lattice forms, this is what it looks like. And you may want to wait for me to draw then. You draw. I got it. I'm going to be doing this drill. I got a, uh, I got an A in uh, art in the, like, sixth grade or something. Pretty sure I somehow, like, got a B in art. Actually, it's not that hard. Well, it's not that hard. She's just making us write papers and like with every ELA format. Yeah, with every artwork we do. Yeah, yeah. my how was you ain't been to school. Yeah. Oh. 
You won't believe this, Mr. Hall, but my grades are astounding right now. Huh? Tanner, pull up his library. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you want me to do? Uh, I don't know his library. Put it on the. 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 Put Positives attracted, negatives, negatives attracted, positives. So this is why we see like this sodium is surrounded by all these chlorine. But then if you look at this sodium, it's surrounded by all these chlorine. Whoa. That is so cool. So it forms a really strong connection. If you ever looked at like big pieces of salt and you wondered why rock salt looks so square, this is why. Faces that cleave off, they're going to cleave off. What are you doing? I'm not pop my back in with these chairs. I don't miss <laughs> it. I have to go back. Adjacent points, you got a question? Only ion bonds can form the lattice? Yes. Whenever I see the red mark, right, for some reason, think of fire. Because last year, I was drove. I don't know if I wasn't here. I don't think I, I think I've been here most of it. But did we ever finish the the strong bonds list? It was like number one ionic bond. One atom loses electron and one gains. One atom becomes cation. Another atom becomes cation. Did we do that? Or did I? That's what we did. <laughs> that's what we we did. Did. No, it's not. It's just written differently. It's written differently, Mr. Hall. Mr. This is Hall. this is a sham. Okay, if you need to know, number two is a polar covalent. Number three is covalent. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Hall. Well, I will write that down. You need it. So here's what happens, okay, is these surround each other and are held tight together. They're attracted to one another. It's like friendship. Woo! Uh, friend, yeah, Mr. Hall. Sorry, I was busy. <laughs> Friendship. It's like the most powerful force on the planet. You know, friends. <laughs> so they stick together. Here's the thing that takes place, though, is there's very good usefulness behind ionic bonds for us right now. And Diesel would say otherwise. Family. 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 <laughs> Family. That's all? That's all. Yeah, that's it. What movie they want now? Like 28? Huh? Probably higher than that. Dear Lord, every time I turn around. Let me go to space. <laughs> okay, here's what I want to get from you. There's a couple of times. I want to see. I was not blowing on you, I was blowing my hair up like a little pretty princess. <laughs> Don't ever look like that again. Emily. I want to ask you a question. <coughs> Let's say I have this segment. Yeah. And I hit it. Hit Yep. That is so disrespectful. Smack it. I hit this segment. Abuse. I'm reporting it. What'd you hit it with? With a hammer. I'm done. No. Why? I ain't gonna hit it with a piece of toast. I never knew you were so violent, this wrong. <laughs> so I hit the segment with a hammer. It drops. What? What happened? To this crystal and lattice. Well, I'm just going to say this lattice. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to give you, I'll give you two minutes, okay? We'll start time, I'll give you two minutes. But you think, you can write the question out, you can even write a response down, but I want you to take time for you to think, 
and see what you think is going to take place if I hit that one segment with a hammer and make it drop down. What will happen? Okay, Dale. That's going to drop down. Dale, I'm asking you to do. Um, hmm. What happened when we hit hammer with the, that crystalline lattice? Okay. And uh, Mason, how long am I giving you? Oh, Pooey, three minutes. Tanner, how long am I giving you? Oh, two minutes. Hey, Alexa, start a timer for two minutes. Good morning, Kevin. Two minutes. Starting now. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, the... <laughs> Guys, don't talk about that. Talk about the Alexa. <laughs> We've got a new team member on our team. I think no. it's going to explode. I think it's like a nuclear bomb. I think as soon as you get with the ambulance, hey, it comes hey, up. Hey, hey, hey. Right now, it's just like time. Oh, my bad. You're an idiot. You gotta ponder it. It's the urge to just scream her name. Hey, Alexa. Say something random. <laughs> oh boy, I have an evil plan. I need the capabilities of that. Look up, Mr. Hall. Kids are already done it. Oh no. I'm fully aware of it. I'm sorry. This is actually comfortable. My ears feel like cold. Yeah, I do. Mr. Hall, who gave you the apple? Good one. What do you mean by it drops? Wait. What does oh. that mean? So <laughs> if I hit something, it's going to push it down. Oh, okay. Well, this is the strongest. So that ball. segment that I boxed in in purple oh, okay. drops. It moves down. So it's not like broken oh. or anything? It's just ah. down. Oh, something will happen. Yeah, I, I hit it, it goes down. What happens? Oh. That's what I'm asking you oh. for. It's bad. I have it's bad. bad. Okay. Bad. Okay. All right, so I'm going to restart the two-minute timer and let you discuss in your groups and see what you came up with and what you think. All right? Uh, Hayden, feel free if you want to, to like, jump over or communicate with Kenzie here if you want. Hey, Alexa, restart my two-minute timer. Your two-minute timer. Restarting now. They're, they're all in the same charge. They don't want to go. So you put the thing in the bag and you have the thing in the bag and you have the thing in the bag and you the thing in the bag and you have 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 the I'm not gonna puke, don't worry. I feel amazing. It's not right. So, right. It's so whenever it drops, oh, yes. it's on board, I'm gonna touch the floor. And, 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 and the sodium is gonna touch the sodium. So they're gonna be grossed out or and they're gonna run away. Poop zero. Poop zero. I don't want to form a bond. That's gross. Poop zero! Poop zero. Sorry, I didn't hear you. The grief in your voice. Almost had an anxiety attack right there. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. How you doing, Mason? Uh, I can't meet you. Oh, it's okay. Hold on. Did you miss me, Mason? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Hey, stop it. It's creeping me out. You guys don't want to see two <laughs> sodiums together. Imagine uh, a camera in this area. Alright. I feel like you guys got this. Hey, Alexa, stop my timer. Two minute timer canceled. So oh. talk with me. What's going to happen here? So we're going to repel each other. That's how the bombs are going to go by. So life. what will happen? Breaking the so truth. Chlorine is going to get a chlorine to go by. Chlorine and sodium will be the side of sodium. Repel. They won't like each other. And that's gross. Exactly. So they are going to repel, which will end up with them shearing off. So then what takes place is this piece of segment up here. This is going to shear off right through here. So if you ever seen somebody like hitting stuff with a hammer and it breaks off, but it breaks off cleanly and leaves like good smooth, <coughs> nice smooth surface to it, what's happening? The crystalline lattice is shearing off. Oh, that's, oh, that's actually really yeah, cool. That's, that's really cool. I didn't know that. that made a lot of sense. 
I'm made of of a ionic bond. So powerful. I haven't used it, so, sure, why not? so it creates the piece to shear off. So it's gonna it's gonna come off. Perfect example of this is like rocks. If you ever seen rocks with like very smooth surfaces, very smooth. Go back to your freshman earth science class. Very, uh -huh. very oh, smooth. Yeah. Clean no. Bad idea, Mr. Hall. I don't want to go back there. To it was real. I don't really care. Yeah, it's the most boring subject on face the planet. I thought it'd be cool. I was playing pool. Logan is great. I was playing yeah, that football game. Really I forgot the name of it. I just realized that the ionic, the ionic bond. Okay. I, you know, I was always thinking, you know, oh my God, like, you know, chlorine is stealing from that poor sodium. But you know what? I'm just realizing something. No, the sodium is the perpetrator. They're spreading their negativity to chlorine. It's not, it's not the other way around. The, the chlorine, the, the sodium is the perpetrator of this. The oh, green. I just looked behind me and you looked like that. Well, <laughs> oh, oh, I always look like this, thank you very much. I just, I just, I just Reminds me of my 